Hi guys, just thought I'd do a quick video on these benchmarks or these Geek Bench benchmarks that have been released for the iPhone 5. Um, now we're not completely sure if these iPhone 5 benchmarks are real, but they seem pretty, pretty accurate. Um, the main thing, the Galaxy S is winning. If this is true, the iPhone 5 scores 1601, the Galaxy S3 scores 1781. So it is winning but I mean that is a very good score for the iPhone 5 we know that it's dual core versus a quad core so I mean they're pretty close right um, but the Samsung Galaxy S3 if these are correct which they may not be um, is winning uh, what does it say here the iPhone 5 benchmarks have two standout features the A6 is clocked very low just one gigahertz Apple have always done this like the iPhone 4 was clocked at 800 megahertz, whereas every every Android phone has been 1.2, 1.3 gigahertz for ages, right? The big standout thing and why the iPhone 5 benchmark is so high um, is the memory performance. You can see here, see here, the iPhone 5 memory performance is 1811, whereas the memory performance here is 986. So they've really done a massive, massive upgrade on the type of memory used. Um, yeah, it's memory performance out of this world. Compared to the 4S, which is a Cortex-A9, the iPhone has somewhere in the region of three to five times better memory performance. So whatever they've done to the memory, I don't actually know, but um, whatever they've done with their chip, it's, they've made it very quick in terms of memory performance probably due to the architecture I think they said they made it on a 32 nanometer compared to the uh, 42 ones um, but if you're doing a straight comparison between the two if these are correct and I do stress that because they aren't verified they might be wrong um, the Galaxy S3 is and has the more powerful processor out of the two um, it just kills it mainly what is it kill, it kills it mainly on the floating point process of floating point performance 2722 on the galaxy s3 compared to 2051 on the iphone 5 so i mean that's a big deal um does it really matter probably not um android fans are always like yeah our phones have the better processors and all this yeah they do but does it matter I mean the iPhone is operate the iOS is different it doesn't need all that horsepower to run it so no it's not really a big deal that it doesn't beat the Galaxy S3 this it's just bragging rights it's just you know it's not gonna the iPhone 5 will be the fastest iPhone there has been there won't be any lag there never there hasn't been lag in iOS for like ages not any noticeably like, n noticeable lag anyway so do these scores matter no but everyone always talks about benchmarks, so here they are. Take from them what you will. Um, I always find them quite interesting, even if it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Please rate, comment, um, and subscribe. I'll be doing all these sorts of news feeds and reviews for a long time yet. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.